Christine, you played here for Ajax, for Tottenham, for Brentford, and now you've done it with United. How was it wearing the red shirt? Uh, very different also when <laughs> when walking into the stadium. Uh, the, had to go right instead of left, uh, but uh, no, it was uh, it was special. It was uh, it was a nice feeling, and it's uh, it always been a nice stadium. And now to wear the home shirt is uh, is definitely a new feeling that I need to get used to. Yeah, I mean you've seen obviously you've seen our fans uh, elsewhere, but seeing them here at Old Trafford today was that special to play in front of them? Yeah, no, definitely. Like you say, you have a yeah, you have a, a home stadium, you have a home fans, and of course it was a. Pre-season game, it might be different people on the on the first game against uh, Brighton, but uh, no, it felt good, and the people were very uh, welcoming and uh, had a good feeling. You also haven't played that much in, in pre-season, but how are you feeling as we get with a week to go until the new campaign? No, I felt good. I mean, uh, the group has taken good care of me. I haven't had uh, that many sessions with the team. Obviously, they they've been on tour and they played a game, and I'll play the game to get some minutes in my legs. Um, but no, it felt good. I feel good. I feel fresh. Uh, the team feels good. So I think the the whole vibe around the, the change room has been very good. And for you, you played obviously sort of number ten today. Yesterday, you played a little bit deeper when you when you came on. Are you are you enjoying slotting into that sort of midfield area? United. Yeah, no. First of all, I think you you play where where the manager wants you to play. He he puts out a team, and then you try to to go from there. And then obviously some games you you come in different situations. Uh, the aim is still the same to to be involved as much as possible, if it's a ten or as an eight or anywhere. One of your youngsters got an opportunity to impress today. Did they impress you? Yeah, no, they did. Uh, also, obviously, I played with some of them on the against the Wrexham midweek. Uh, but no, some very good and talented boys. I mean, they. They seem like they want to work hard and also training with them, they're, they're working hard and they're, they're trying to and waiting patiently to get their chance and obviously when they have the chance they, they need to take it but I think some of them did very well today. And as Andre Martinez also has only just joined, he got his first opportunity today and he, he seemed to slot in very well. Yeah, no, definitely. He's a, he's a type of guy, he's a type of player. He will, he will, he will like I said, slot in very, very quickly for sure. A week to go, obviously you've had a few pre-seasons in your time, do you still get that little Sort of team of excitement ahead of a, a new campaign. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, no, it's always a, a good feeling to finish your pre-season and really the finally the, the real work starts, uh, the real season starts. So it's always nice to to play the last uh, pre-season to really get the obviously the good feeling and the fitness from pre-season. But then in the end, it's uh, it's all about being ready mentally uh, for the for the first game. And you're optimistic about how we're going to get on in this uh, this campaign. Yeah, no, definitely. Obviously, I've only been there for for a short period of time, but it looks it looks good and it feels good among the among the players and in the, in the first team. I mean, it's a it's a good feeling around also from after the tour. So uh, yeah, no, it's something that uh, I hope that can continue. Uh, obviously, it starts uh, with Brights and hopefully a good start. Thanks, Peter. Cheers. You're welcome. Thank you. Have you been happy with what you've seen during pre-season? Oh, overall, definitely, and I think we make uh, a good pre-season and we make good progress. And, but um, we are ready for the season, but still I know uh, there is uh, still a lot of room for improvement and we have to improve and that is also a process what continues during the season, but for next week it's about the result as well. And was it another learning process today? Obviously lots of quite young players played. Did you learn a lot from today? Ah, it was a mixture right, between experience and youth. Um, some guys, they meet each other today for the first time. Yeah. Uh, what can you expect? Uh, but you saw the attitude was really great. Uh, they were, were really uh, the intention to cooperate. Uh, they, they fight and work for each other. And that was positive. And we create also um, a lot of chances. OK, we also conceded some chances. But all over, I think we have to be satisfied about this performance. I think the fans quite enjoyed seeing um, Garnacho play. I saw him in the Youth Cup last year. They quite enjoyed seeing him play on the left hand side. Were you impressed? Now, what we want is also to um, young players who deserve a chance, we want to give them the chance. And he shows himself during pre season, um, and that's why he came on and he played pretty well. And that's hopeful uh, just as a team, but his performance was really good. And a first uh, game for Lisandro Martinez here at Old Trafford as well. And he seemed to, to slot in um, straight away. I suppose that's no surprise to you there. No. I but I think it was a really good uh, combination uh, with Rafa and they played uh, really solid and that was good to see and it's always the question how do you integrate but I think he can integrate quite well into the team. And you've seen our fans all over the world but was it good to see them 
here at home today and did you enjoy the reception you got? Ah, fantastic. And you see and you feel the vibe in the stadium. You feel the vibe, what they want to send to the team. And it has to be a cooperation between fans and team. And so we get the right emotion on the pitch and the right, especially, results. And it was announced yesterday that Benny McCarthy has now joined your, your coaching staff. What will he bring to, uh, to Manchester United? Yeah, there was still one place um, in our uh, coaching staff what I want to fill in. And there was uh, uh, someone with a different voice. And Benny is uh, uh, such one. He has experience. He was a uh, manager. He was a coach in a uh, professional level. And he was a former striker, a really successful striker as well. And his job, uh, he will focus on the positioning and the attacking stuff. And I will not say only the strikers because uh, it's the attacking stuff. Uh, also, the integration from fullbacks, um, uh, for midfielders, because our way of play has to be dynamic. Okay, thanks very much, Eric. All the best. Cheers. Buddy, how was that? Yeah, very good. Obviously, a um, bit of a strange weekend with uh, two games in two days, but it actually gives plenty of opportunities around for the lads to get 90 minutes. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed today, and I think the rest of the lads did. Uh, most of us were just getting ourselves together when you made a save after about nine seconds. You had to be alert, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. It was um, a little bit of a, a red herring from them down the down the right hand side. As they're going to play it long, um, come back the other way and, and slip it in behind. Um, we weren't alive to it, unfortunately, and, uh, and the guy came through and, uh, and created a chance. So, interestingly, Christian mentioned about Brentford, did it to us last year, I think, very early on. Um, so it's something we might have to have a little look at um, and make sure we get right before, we're, uh, before we kick off next weekend. And a debut for Lisandro Martinez at uh, left centre back, and uh, well, from our point of view, he just seemed to slot in pretty quickly. Yeah, that's, that's been the case all week, in fairness to him. I really enjoyed playing with him today. Um, I think he'll be a top, top player for the club. Uh, as I say, I thought he was outstanding today. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to, to watching him play this year. Yeah, it's interesting because obviously most centre backs aren't five foot nine, but he's a different sort of centre back. And you could see that today with the way. He yeah, plays that, you, the you game. can, you know, I think that's, uh, you know, it's probably been talked about a little bit unfairly, I think. Um, for what he brings, you know, his physicality, how he uses his body, his leap, um, and, and what he gives you in terms of mobility and, and, and on the ball. Um, and you know what, personality wise, I think he's going to add an awful lot to the team. Even this week, you can see already um, what he brings, you know, he brings that sort of larger than life personality at the back, controlling. As I say, I think, uh, I think he was excellent today. Uh, as I, say, I really enjoyed playing with him. As I, say, I look forward to uh, hopefully playing with him a bit more this year. And in the second half, lots of youngsters came on. I mean, you know how they feel because you've done it yourself coming through the, the ranks here. And you look at the talent coming through. Is it something that we should be uh, excited about? Yes, I think so. Plenty of opportunities today. Um, you know, I, I think when you get an opportunity in the club, at the club, uh, especially in pre-season, you want to impress. Um, I'm sure some of those boys will filter out on loan to go and continue their uh, their development. Um, but the opportunity is there to, to impress and, and try and take it. You know, this club's been built on the fact that young players, uh, if, you, if you're good enough and you're, and you're doing it on the grass, um, you will get the opportunity. I think today there was a few really good performances. I thought Garnaccio was outstanding on the left-hand side. Um, so, yeah, good for him to get uh, a, a good run out. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure the manager was impressed with him. Uh, among others, you know, there was plenty of good performances. Um, but, yeah, I think it's just taking the opportunity when it comes as young lads. And for you personally, this, this entire, that's it for pre-season now, at least matches for you yep. personally how's it been excellent thoroughly enjoyed it uh, new manager coming in brought a new uh, a new energy to the football club I think you can probably feel that um, from the outside a new style uh, I think everyone's taken to it really well um, you know after a real disappointing campaign last year I think we uh, were going into this team with with a, with a fair bit more optimism um, you know it takes time you know it won't be a won't be an overnight uh, but there's certainly the building blocks are there um, and everyone's uh, everyone's on the same pace to take it forward so certainly uh, certainly a calm excitement within the group um, and yeah looking forward to Sunday. Well, you've done a few pre-seasons in your time, and you still got that bit of tingle, a bit of excitement. Going yeah, very much so. You know, <laughs> today playing, you know, there's no, no better feeling than, than walking out Old Trafford. Um, you know, absolutely loved it. It's the, the energy in the body playing. Um, frustrating for me last year to, to not play many games, such though it was. But yeah, certainly, certainly a different feeling playing. Um, and hopefully, I'll be uh, I'll be competing to uh, to get more.